Okay, this week we are going to continue working with word problems and we're going to be looking more at all four operations. So today we're going to be looking at additive comparison and multiplicative comparison questions. So the objective says, what is the difference between additive comparison and multiplicative comparison? Then how do I solve each problem? So as you can probably figure out, additive comparison is talking about adding and multiplicative comparison is talking about multiplying. But the difference is this comparison word. What does that really mean? Well, I've written two examples, one for additive and one for multiplicative, so we can see what that comparison means. So let's start with the first in additive. Darlene has seven apples. I'm going to circle seven because that's one number that I'm going to need. Juan has four more, so I'm going to circle four, and more tells me I need to add. How many does one have? So this comparison means that I need to use the information I have for that first person before I find anything else. So even though I just want to know Juan's apples, I need to know how many Darlene has and add four more to Darlene's amount. So Darlene has seven. Juan has four more than Darlene. So we're going to add the four to seven to equal 11 apples. And I've shown here the seven apples for Darlene. We need to start with that first person because Juan has four more than Darlene. So then we add on our four remaining apples to equal the 11 apples. So let's see if we find the same thing with multiplicative comparison. We need to know and compare to that first amount in order to complete our problem. And we know multiplicative comparison, we must have different vocabulary here that's going to tell us to multiply. So let's read and find out. Darlene has seven apples. So again, we're starting with the same thing, seven apples. And you can see we have our seven apples here. One has four times as many. Now this word times is new. And I'm thinking because I know multiply, another word for that, a synonym is times. I'm thinking that we're going to have to multiply. I'm going to circle the four also because one has four times what Darlene has. So how many apples does Juan have? So we have to do seven, which is Darlene's amount, times four. We need seven apples, which we have, and then we're going to copy them four times. So here's one, And we need four groups of the seven. So here's a second group, a third group, and here's the fourth group to show seven groups of four, or seven times Four. So how many does Juan have? Well, I know that 7 times 4 is going to equal 28 apples. So the difficult part here is not figuring out the answer. I know 7 plus 4 equals 11. Easy peasy. 7 times 4 is 28. Easy peasy. But we need to understand that comparison questions are asking us to look at someone else's information or another object and compare what we're looking for to that object. Like we compared Juan, Juan's amount, to Darlene so we can figure out how many total Juan has. So we have to start out with that one person or one object's information before we continue with comparison problems. 
So we're going to look at more of these problems tomorrow and even try it with some subtraction and division. So take your time and good luck.